So today we're here at Borringdon Hall in Devon. It's a five-star hotel uh, just on the edge of uh, Plymouth. Uh, we're here for the night. We're staying in the Royal Suite. So we're going to be showing you where the room is right up there. And uh, it's in the top of one of their turrets. This hotel is absolutely fantastic. We'll show you around. We'll show you some of the food that we have as well. So uh, keep watching the video and uh, let us know what you think in the comments. So we've come on inside out of the wind into Borringdon Hall. We've made our way up onto the second floor and uh, we're now heading to the Royal Suite. Just check out the views and some of the features uh, in these corridors of this really old building that we're staying in, Borringdon Hall. Absolutely love that grandfather clock. So let's carry on round here and I believe the room is just round here to the right. So just up these uh, steps here, and they've got some old pictures here as well. Just look look at the uh, corridors here, absolutely fantastic. I'm quite short, but even I have to duck down to get through some of these doorways, and those chairs are absolutely fantastic. So let's go up these steps, and then we're going to head through this door on the right, which takes us into the Royal Suite. So here we are in the Royal Suite here at Borringdon Hall in Devon. Uh, we've just come up the stairs here, so the entrance to the room is actually down the stairs and then you walk up the stairs and then it opens up into this fantastic room. So we'll just have a quick pan around the room and then we'll show you around it in more detail. I say a room, uh, just probably about three rooms and an outdoor space, so it's really fantastic as you'd expect for a five-star hotel for a royal suite. So there you can see the nice big sofa there with plenty of cushions, but the best bit Check out these little LED lights there underneath. Don't know if it picks it up well, but yeah, it's got a line of LED lights under there. Different to what you typically have at home. So it's nice to have that when you come away. And then as we go around here, you've got a decent sized TV. And then just below there, you've got the footstools. And there's two there that separate and you can obviously move them across to the sofa and have them uh, wherever you'd like them uh, to be, to be comfortable. So as we look around, down here through this door is your bedroom. Well, Go in there shortly and show you around the bedroom. Picture on the wall just there. And then you've got a door to your outside space in the far corner. And then you've got a door up some steps. We'll show you what's in there in just a moment. So let's take you around this uh, living room area. So you've got yourself um, a nice mirror, nice big round mirror. And you've got your switches as you come in, some sockets down there on the floor. Lovely piece of artwork as we go up the step. Very, very nice. And then in this little alcove here, there's a selection of books and then also some uh, little bookends there with like um, deers. All themed pretty similar here at uh, Barrington. Really nice place. We'll show you around the place in more detail after this room tour as well. You've got a thermometer there on the wall, some more ornaments above that alcove. And look what you've got here. If you come here with kids and they're getting bored or even a grown-up partner who's getting bored you've got yourself a playstation there to play on on the tv so you're not going to get bored whilst you're here um, down here then you've got the uh, desk area so you've got yourself a chair and a desk and there's a nice radiator at the back there so here you've got your tea tray you've got your teacups and um, you've got some nice little biscuits which um, i will certainly be uh, giving those a try a little bit later and then in this drawer here you've got your different uh, coffee capsules to go in the coffee machine. You've also got your tea bags, there's some Earl Grey, there's some English breakfast. And a bit further back, you've got yourself some green tea, a uh, selection of uh, sugars, and also some sweetness further there, further back there. So a nice selection of hot drinks there for you. You've also got some coffee filter um, bags, so you can brew your coffee that way if you want to as well. Also your kettle there, and then your Nespresso coffee machine where you put your pods in the top there, water at the back, and then the, your water comes through here with your coffee into the cup there at the bottom. Looking across here then, uh, you've got yourself a tray, selection of glasses, and also a nice big bottle of uh, jug of water. Um, little lamp just here on the side, and then just here uh, we've got ourselves um, a bottle of champagne. So that'll be nice to uh, try that a little bit later. It's a nice setup just there of the uh, desk area. Also, a lot of things on that desk. If you're planning on doing any work, you're probably better off using uh, the dining table, which is just here. So, um, yeah, nice dining table and two comfy chairs. So if you can um, imagine yourself sitting here, 
you've ordered your room service and you're going to have it here on the table nice and big or if you need to do some work then it's a nice big space also on this table you've got um, a map of the uh, Barrington Hall estate um, this is the main entrance just here into uh, Barrington Hall you kind of got your bar area downstairs just here and we're up on this top corner um, in the Royal Suite and then further back um, you've got the spa area and uh, it's won quite a few awards it's a fabulous spa area and we've been to it in the past um, we don't have time this time to try it unfortunately but if you are looking for a five-star hotel in Devon then I'd uh, certainly consider uh, the Barrington Hall Hotel absolutely fantastic and then down here you've got a fridge Let's see what's in the fridge so in here you've got yourself a selection of drinks, you've got some beers, um, tonic water, you've got coke, uh, some milk for your hot drinks, some water and some passion fruit martini, sounds good. Also on the top shelf you've got uh, some Pringles, some popcorn and uh, some more little snacks just there. Not sure if that's included or not, there's no price list so it may well be um, included. Um, we got the room at quite a good discount compared to normal. Um, we'll tell you how much we paid for this room at the end of the video so uh, do keep watching and uh, you may be pleasantly surprised at what we actually paid for it compared to their standard room so just here then you've got some steps that lead up to another door all finished really nicely a nice big floor lamp just there as well really good love the stonework there at the back and the archway leading into the next room so let's head up these steps and see what's in this room. So as we open the door, you're greeted with this nice bath. Just check it out, huge egg shape, egg shape bath. And just imagine yourself sitting in here with that view out of that window. Okay, you can see part of the decking area outside uh, for this room, the balcony. But uh, yes, yeah, nice uh, trees out there to look at. And right in the distance, I don't even see them, but uh, there's some uh, nice hills and countryside of uh, Dartmoor. So as we look around then in this bathroom, you've got this large uh, shower area. Let's uh, take a look inside. So as you're going at the back, you've got your products, you've got your shampoo, you've got your conditioner and your shower gel. And then to the side, You've got your rain shower, complete with attachment and the controls just there. But it's not just one shower in this one. You actually get two showers, two rain showers. So if you've just got married, you come here for your wedding night, you've got a nice romantic setting. You've got that fantastic bath that we've just seen. And then you've also got uh, two showers as well. So really finished really nicely here in this Royal Suite at Burrendon Hall in Devon. To the side here then you've got two sinks and a really nice large mirror. Um, down here you've got yourself a vanity kit, a shower cap and a sanitary bag. So all the essentials that you need are here for you. And then by the sinks you've got hand wash and also some hand and uh, body lotion along with two glasses if you like to have a bit of water by the side of the bed or anything like that. Uh, shaver sockets over there for charging things up. And then you've got the huge mirror. As you come around, you've got the shower there, we just looked at. And then you've got that bath. And the floor's all really nice as well. It's all finished really well. I do like um, this room here at Barrington Hall. It's a five-star hotel. Um, we've also done a video on another five-star hotel called Bovy Castle, which is located just, uh, within Dartmoor National Park. I'll put a link to that on um, the screen at the end and also in the description uh, below. So if you want to check that one out as well, it's another one to consider if you're looking for a five-star hotel in Devon for your holidays. So that's the bathroom then. Let's head back out into the main room. As we walk down the steps to uh, the back of the sofa, and then we'll head to the bedroom and show you what the bedroom's like. Down another step, and then into the bedroom, there's another uh, big step down. And as we look around, you've got yourself a nice bed, probably super king size, I'd say, looking at that by the size, size of it. You've got a nice little like, coat of arms or something above the bed. And at the sides, you've got the bedside lights, two drawers, and you've got a plug socket and a light switch uh, for the lights. 
and the same on the right hand side, pretty much identical uh, to the other side. As we look round, you've got your mirror, you've got a bag stand just there below all our rubbish, you've got the wardrobe. Let's take a quick look inside the wardrobe, see what's in there. So in the wardrobe, you've got two dressing gowns. Right down there at the bottom, you've got some uh, flip-flops, two sets of flip-flops. A lot of people that stay here at Barrington will use the spa area as well. And uh, so you've got those that you can wear up to the spa. And you've got your hairdryer on the top shelf. Uh, you've got an ironing board. Uh, let's see what's on this side. So in this side, you've got your safe on the top shelf. Uh, a selection of hangers as well. And then right down there at the bottom, you've got the iron to go with the ironing board. So yeah, really nice um, setup here in the bedroom. You've got everything that you need. Uh, radiator just down there. And then you've got your television. And I absolutely love these stoned mullioned windows that look out um, onto the front lawn and across the hills of uh, the surrounding countryside. Nice ornament on there as well. Looks like pheasants or something like that. I think the pheasants. If I've got that completely wrong, do let me know what they actually are in the comments uh, below. Um, I think the pheasants, but uh, really not sure. So do let me know if I've got that completely wrong in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. In this corner of the bedroom then, you've got another floor standing light. Absolutely love the um, stonework here as well, all like original. This has actually been here. There's history around Barrington Hall, stemming all the way back to the Doomsday Book. Uh, really fascinating to read all the history that's on their website for Borrowden Hall here in Devon. So you've got yourself another desk here in the bedroom. On the desk you've got some tissues, uh, there's a, like a reed diffuser thing with some uh, smelly stuff in to make the room smell nice. And then you've got your Trenchman's Guide here and also a book all about Borrowden Hall. So uh, really impressive all the things here. And then you've got yourself a phone for room service or reception or whatever you need. So that's the bedroom then, here in the Royal Suite at Brongdon in Devon. There's one place that we haven't shown you yet, so let's head on outside. Yep, outside you've got your own space, private to this Royal Suite. And it's at the top of one of the original turrets uh, for this stately home that was now a hotel. So let's head outside and we'll take a look. So as we come out here onto the uh, balcony here, the sun is shining, which is absolutely fantastic. It's been raining a lot. If you look up there though, we have got gray clouds, but uh, we'll make the most of it. We'll show you out here on this uh, outdoor balcony area and we'll show you some of the, the views as well. Absolutely stunning. So yes, you get your own hot tub to use. Absolutely fantastic. You've just got married. Um, you've booked the Royal Suite for your wedding night. You've got yourself a hot tub to come and enjoy. It's, uh, you know, you can't really beat it really. A fantastic room here. Okay, it can be expensive, but we got it at a good price. As I say, we'll tell you that price at the end of this video. So let's take a look around here. So we're out here in the very top of Brandon Hall. Yeah, there's a Union Jack flag up there. We'll take a walk around as well, show you the views. So here you've got yourself a little settee, a couple of footstools and a little coffee table. It's quite windy. Hopefully you can still hear me okay with the wind noises. But um, let's take a look. So to the left, you've got the main uh, Borrowden Hall. So this will give you a bit of an idea as to what it looks like as well. Uh, like I say, you've got your flag fluttering up there at the top. And we're lucky enough to be at the top of one of the original turrets here. There's only one room like this with a hot tub right at the top. Check out those views there. And then you've got the tree there, all the blossom coming through. Let's walk around here, try not to trip over the uh, lid for the um, hot tub. Uh, that's not very good. Um, it looks like someone's broken a glass, which is fine. These things happen, but they've actually left part of it here. So hopefully that um, stays there. I'll put it in the bin actually in a moment. But can you imagine getting out of the hot tub and putting your foot on that? Not good. Uh, the room itself is fantastic, but you know, little things like that should have been uh, picked up by the uh, cleaners before this room was available. But uh, on the whole, really, really good. And then like I say, here you've got the hot tub and um, no one's been in it yet. So it should be clean. Um, so you can see some hair there on the side. Okay, none of this is the end of the world or anything. Um, but uh, yeah, overall it looks okay. There is some dirt um, around and uh, we've only just taken the lid off 
just before we started filming. But um, it, yeah, it looks like it could have been done with being cleaned a little bit better than what it has. But you know, still, it's not going to ruin anything for us. We're still going to enjoy um, the hot tub. But I will have a good look around on the floor to make sure there's no broken glass before we come out here barefooted later to go in the hot tub. And there's the windows there that lead to the bathroom. And as we look around, uh, just in front there, that's the car park uh, where we all park. And then you walk along and then the entrance to this uh, hotel is around the front here um, to the side just there. So really impressive. So we hope you've enjoyed this uh, tour around the Royal Suite here at Brongdon Hall in Devon. Uh, we're booked in for some uh, food later on in their Michelin star restaurant. So we'll take some photos of that for you. We'll let you know what that's like. We'll also let you know what the night's sleep was like and also what breakfast is like more importantly tomorrow. So keep watching and uh, we'll show you and tell you what we thought of our stay here at uh, Barrington Hall in Devon. So we're now out and about showing you around some of the public areas at Borringdon Hall. This is just one of the landings with two sofas there. Absolutely stunning place. Um, this is one of the bar areas and the main bar area is really good to see but it was really busy so we didn't want to take pictures of people in there. Then we came down this corridor and found this bookcase and it leads through to a secret bar. Okay, the bar was actually closed, it was straight after breakfast. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we walked past this book, bookcase in the past and didn't know that there's a secret bar behind it. So we found it, and uh, another time when we're there, we'll go in and have a look. Good morning, it's the next morning here at uh, the Royal Suite at Borringdon Hall in Devon. Um, here with Kev. Kev, what did you think to um, the night here at Borringdon? I thought it was really good. Yeah, I had a really good night's sleep. Um, yeah, I think um, the surroundings, um, even just getting here, I drove over the moors um, and I thought it was great. It was, uh, yeah, it's a really nice place. The views of the countryside here are absolutely stunning, especially today, it's much better weather. Sun shining, as you can see, we're squinting as it is into the sun. Uh, but yeah, just check out those views over there, really fantastic. So what did you actually think to the food last night? We, we um, dined in the Michelin star uh, restaurant here. They got the Michelin star back in 2023. Um, it was quite an experience. What did you think to it? It was really nice. Um, but it was, um, I want to say four courses, and, uh, but it was more to it than that. They kept bringing out um, more stuff um, in between the courses um, to things like to, they, they said to us to, to cleanse the palate. Um, so it was a much bigger experience than what it sounds like for four courses. Um, yeah, the food was exquisite. Um, and being a Michelin star, you'd expect it to be to an extent. So, uh, yeah, it lived up to its expectations. Yeah, it was really absolutely fantastic. Just as you thought you'd finished, um, you had more food brought over to you. It was really fantastic. And then right at the end as well, they gave you a little, uh, just as you think you've finished this uh, sort of like marathon of food, they, they bring across a little box of chocolates, which I should have brought out to show you. But, um, um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll be having those, I think, before we go. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a picture and put it on screen now. Yeah, so we certainly won't be leaving those behind anyway, put it that way. No. Looking forward to those. Um, my highlights of the stay here at Borringdon Hall in Devon has to be this suite. Okay, it is expensive, but if you want to treat yourself or you're getting married and you want somewhere for the wedding night, you've seen the video already. It's absolutely fantastic. And my favourite part has to be this hot tub. I was in it last night for at least an hour. It's absolutely fantastic. And then I was in it again this morning for about 20 minutes when I first got up. So I would definitely be coming back. As far as what, did, what price did we pay, well, if you used to go onto the Brongdon Hall website and have a look, you'd usually find it for probably about £700 per night. And we'd been looking at it and we thought, well, that's a little bit too expensive for what we want to do. Um, so I kept looking at it and then we found a midweek. Um, so we stayed here on a Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and we paid £400 for it. Um, parking is free and that also included breakfast uh, for two people. So. If you're looking for a hotel to go to um, on a budget, obviously this hotel's not for you. But if you're looking for somewhere for that special treat, then I'd highly recommend coming to Borringdon Hall and looking to stay in the Royal Suite. But looking on their website, all the rooms here look absolutely fantastic. They do, yeah. And they've got a really good spa. We used a spa um, a few years ago. What, what's your thoughts of the spa from what you remember? Um, it's to, to a really high standard. Um, it's only been built in the last few years. Um, so it, it's really modern um, and it's a complete contrast to the actual uh, main building itself. Um, 
but it somehow complements it. And uh, yeah, it, it's really um, a resort in itself. Um, it's, it's, it's really quite big, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely fantastic and really modern as well. And they've won quite a few awards. Um, finally, breakfast then. So that brings us to the end of, of the stay here. We've had breakfast. I opted for the vegan uh, full English. Um, the bacon actually did taste of bacon. Um, it's amazing what they've managed to do. It looked a little bit, a little bit hard, as you'll see in the picture. It, it looked like um, toy bacon. It was, uh, yeah, it did look almost like you couldn't eat it. Um, it looked so perfect, but uh, yeah, apparently it was very nice. It was, and the uh, vegan sausages, they were nice as well, all really good. You had the uh, standard full English. How was yours? It was really good, and they were very generous with the portion sizes as well. Um, Usually you'd only get one piece of bacon and one sausage. Obviously you can ask for, for more in, in these places, um, but you have two sausages, two, two bacon, basically two, two of everything. Um, so um, if you're not a big eater, just, just ask for a smaller size um, if you don't like leaving stuff on your plate. Um, but absolutely of the highest quality, um, absolutely no complaints from me. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure that you uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Um, if you like five star hotels, and especially in Devon, if you're looking for another one in Devon, uh, we've got a video, we'll put the details to it at the end of this video, and also in the description, and that's Bovy Castle uh, within Dartmoor National Park. It's a fantastic five star hotel, not too far from here. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time.